Hello and welcome. My name is Casey Dioven. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about recording guitars in FL Studio. Alrighty, if you look here, you'll see I've got a basic drum beat. This will basically give a backbone to what we're going to be doing here. Just a little tasty beat in there. Nothing extraordinary. Very simplistic. Now the first thing you're going to want to realize about recording anything in FL Studio is that you cannot use your primary sound driver. You're going to need ASIO for all, and if you don't for some reason have it, I will put a link in the description. But you're going to want to open that up and bring up the ASIO panel so you can see all this neat little stuff. If you don't see a plus sign here, you're going to have to click on this button here. This is simple and advanced features. You're going to need the advanced features to make sure that you've got your line in or wherever you're uh, plugging in your guitar. So now I'm going to go into the mixer and I've got G Tune here. This is the guitar tuner. Don't mind that. It's just hanging out, being cool. Now you're going to want to find your input. Mine is audio line input. So now we can hear the guitar. Cool. All right. And like I said, this is a guitar tuner. It is available free. If you notice there, my sixth string is D. I'm using type of drop D tuning for this tutorial. Well, for any tutorial. I've just started liking drop D tuning. All right. We'll go ahead and take that off. We don't need that. That is a free download also. You will... uh have a link in the description for that one as well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put a parametric EQ in here. You don't have to. I love them. Basically, it's going to show you a layout of where your sound is sitting in the mix. And you can also EQ from here. It's very visual. Let's see, and it shows you where everything is from 20 hertz upwards to 20,000 I believe yep 20,000 alright so now that we've got that we're gonna go ahead and put in something to make the guitar sound a little nicer there are a lot of uh, guitar amplify, uh, amplifier VSTs and cabinet mods and all this kind of cool stuff but today I'm going to be using Hardcore, which is from Image Line, same people who do FL Studio. I'm going to open that up. Uh, and it's got a nice little hum. I say nice. I mean annoying. But uh, we'll listen with this 80s lead setting here. Shred-tastic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change this to something more interesting and less hummy. I don't think hummy's a word. All right, that's pretty cool. But it's not very loud, so I'm going to go ahead and put Sound Goodizer in there, and I'm going to put it on C, just be because I can, really. So now we have Sound Goodizer in there. We've got Hardcore going. And we're going to record something directly in here. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You're going to want to come over here and click on the one-click audio recording. It's a little microphone button. Click on that, you have the two options displayed here. Into Edison Audio Editor Recorder, which I really don't like doing, but I'll go ahead and do that right now. So now we have this right here, uh, basically showing us what we've recorded. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, like I said, I have no idea about Edison, but, uh, oh, there we go. Very cool. And, uh, Edison gives you a lot of cool little features. You're gonna add reverb directly in Edison. You're gonna use a blur tool, which I'll go ahead and run that through. Let you hear that quickly, quickly. Gives it a creepy kind of vibe. It's basically like reverb, except it kind of you know, just blurs it. I'm not sure about the other features. Like I said, I don't like Edison. Nothing against Edison. It's a cool dude. I just don't like hanging out with it at parties. But a uh, second option, and this is the one that I use, is to click on the record button here go into playlist as an audio clip. I like having audio clips just right there in the uh, mixer for me. Or the editor. So now you can see we've got it here instead of having a little Edison thing up. It's right in here. And you can play it back same as you would with Edison. Probably better. I say better. I don't know. Alright, so now that's in there. And what we can do having it right here available to us we can go ahead and slice let's say at that last part let's say we don't want that right there we just want to use this first part here we can go ahead and slice using the little knife tool right here or you can press C on your keyboard while you while you're in here we're gonna go ahead and right click get away or get that away get rid of it and we're gonna click on that just create another copy right here by just clicking again with the uh, left button so it adds that one just spread right over there creates a second copy of it let's take this first one and just play with that see it's more seamless Okay, enough of that. Anyway, already I went ahead and skipped forward, found one that's not too hissy called Solid FG. Sounds pretty nice, sounds like this. Kind of old school, rocky, a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do a technique called double tracking. This is good for guitars. It gives it a lot of sound, a lot of body. You can use it with other things, but right now, focusing on guitars, so we're gonna go ahead. Turn the panning all the way to the left, and we're gonna do that for the first recording and for the second recording we're going to play the same exact thing but we're going to have it to the right so we'll do the left first now that we've recorded the left part of it we're going to go ahead and make another one to the right it's going to be the same riff we're going to record it and what it's going to do is since it's slightly different it's going to make the sound seem bigger already we went ahead and recorded that now we've got two parts, one to the left, one to the right. Same riff, and it's going to sound a lot bigger. It's not perfect by any means, but it does show you what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. If there's anything that I forgot to mention, anything you'd like to see in a tutorial, just go ahead and let me know. I've been Casey Dio Venn. Thank you for watching.